Hello, my special tribe. Today, I want to talk to you about resistance versus acceptance. I always have to give props out to any books that I'm reading, and I've just finished this great yummy book it's called The Soulmate Experience. And it's not just for relationships, even though that's primarily what it's for. It can work in other areas. So I got so many good, yummy little nuggets of information that came from this book. Of course, the whole point is to be in a healthy relationship. But there's this one area that talked about resistance versus acceptance. So I want you to kind of test some questions today after you watch this video, of course, and let this sit with you for a little bit. Why are you frustrated about something? Is there something you feel like you're pushing a boulder uphill or you're hitting a brick wall? It could be your relationships. It could be your business. It could be your health. It could be lots of things in relationship with your father, mother, sister, sibling, child, your significant other, whatever that looks like. So take a look at what frustrates you now, because usually that's where resistance shows up. For example, my beautiful daughter just re just refuses to clean her room often without being hassled to death. And for some reason, I resist that. It annoys me. The rest of the house is perfect. Why would she want to live in a pig pen of a bedroom, right? So I said, well, instead of walking into her room angry or feeling frustrated, and allowing that to seal my joy, how about you just accept the fact that she's not like her mom. She doesn't have to have everything in its place and everything neatly picked up and smelling fresh and, and so on. She's 12, you know, it is what it is. So as soon as I started to accept it, I can now walk into a room and kind of step over the dirty clothes and ignore the pile of garbage in the corner and the other things and just accept that's who she is. It's a different kind of a peaceful flow. Now I don't you know, grit my teeth when I walk by her room and so on. So where else does this show up in your life? You could be resisting how someone communicates with you. You could be resisting about certain situations in your relationship or your business, the areas that frustrate you. What if you just sit down, write down all the areas you're resisting or feeling frustrated and that's why you feel frustrated. It's because there's this resistance. I refuse to accept. It is what it is. And that puts you into that icky, heavy space of anger, resentment, frustration. How about switching it over to, I accept that this person communicates this way. I accept that this particular client is just going to go slower than most. I accept that this person's going to need more, more handholding, for example, in your business, or I accept that some projects are just going to take longer than others. Cause if you resist it, you can feel it. Maybe it's a breakup. If you resist the breakup and can't accept it, you actually put yourself through more turmoil than if you accept that it is what it is because the universe is going to eliminate people from your life that no longer serve you. It's just a process of elimination. Accept it. If they're meant to stay, they'll stay or they'll come back. It's all good. The universe is looking out for you. So where can you turn that little frustration button just by simply going away from resistance and going into acceptance and just accepting it for it is what it is. That's when you'll feel peace in your heart. You'll feel more joy and you'll let life and flow happen for you. Big hugs, big love. Go to write those things down right now and then write, I accept afterwards. Okay. You accept it. It's all good. Big hugs, big love. Bye.